You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Okay, okay, welcome, welcome all the Board, board of Select Select meeting, meeting for September, for September 2nd, 2nd quarter. quarter. Um, item one, to consider and if appropriate, approve the minutes. For Actually, I, before we start, I just want to remind everyone this is actually an in-person meeting. Um, however, we have uh, attached a Zoom link to the meeting agenda as well as a, uh, uh, a link where documents can be seen. Um, I just, I just ask, ask anybody if they'd like to be recognized to speak, speak on a matter to raise, raise their, their hand, hand uh, uh, in the, the uh, on the bottom, bottom and I will uh, call, call on you. On you. Uh, all, right, all right, so getting back, getting to, back to, 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 to item one, item to, one consider to consider and if appropriate, appropriate approve, approve the minutes, the minutes from, from August 19th, 2020. 2020. Motion to approve. Second. It's been moved. Move, second. second. Any, Any edits, edits, credits, credits deletions? deletions? Hearing none, all, all in favor say aye. 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 Item, Item two, two, to consider an appropriate approve an employment contract between the town of Brantford and Deputy Chief John Alves. We do, um, in our packet, you have the uh, uh, contract. This did go before the Board of Finance on Monday night uh, under the uh, fin uh, financial, financial review obligation, obligation or financial obligation review. review. Uh, they did give it a favorable review. Uh, we uh, do we have, have on the, the uh, line uh, uh, HR, HR Director, Director Margaret Liberta, if there's any questions, questions. Uh, in regards to this contract, this contract but uh, uh, I bring this for you for... Uh, for I'll make a motion to approve. It's been moved by Select Selectman Dombard, second, second, second by Selectman Higgins. Higgins. Um, um, is there any, is there any discussion, discussion on this? On this? Margaret, Margaret, do you want to give a give brief, brief overview of just the process, process yourself included? The town, just, just, well. Sure. Thanks, Jamie. This is Margaret Liberta speaking. Um, currently, we have a contract for you, which has been reviewed, as Jamie said, by the uh, Finance Committee on Monday. Prior to this, in consultation with the Chief, Chief Mulhern, and the first selectman, as well as uh, using the prior contract for, that was used for this position and balancing that with the police contract, we developed what we thought was a very um, competitive but practical comp uh, contract for Chief Alves, who has also seen this contract and has agreed to it. Um, before we sent this for a final copy, we of course had outside council review it once and the outside council also approved it. Uh, with that, I hope we have your support for approval. Okay, okay it's, it's been, been moved and seconded. Second. Any, further Any further discussion? discussion? All right, all hearing none, all, all in favor, favor say, say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? Substantial is done. Item, item carries unanimously. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, item three, item three. Any, any other business? Other business? Any, Any other, other business? business. Oh, I, oh, see, I see uh, a resident, resident waving, waving his, his hand. hand. Uh, uh, Wayne Cook, let me just let me find just you. Find here. Yeah, there's, there's a button, a button up on, on you. Uh, uh, I will unmute you. you. All right. Can you hear me now? Yep, yep. I can hear you. All right. First of all, I thought there were two agenda items, one was correspondence and one was other. Am I wrong? No. I sent two letters to the Board of Selectmen. Uh, there's, there's, there's just, just other. other. There's all right. 
And that's cool. I have two letters and I have a couple of slides I'd like to show, but... We received, we received your, your slides. slides. They're in, They're the, in drop the drop box. box. Actually, Actually, you know, you know what? what? I have... uh, timer. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can talk about your Great slides. Slide. The Board of Selectmen has, has them, and they're in they're the Dropbox. Drop what about the two letters? And what about the slides? Can you display the slides? Uh, yeah, let yeah, me go through it quick. I do not have your letters. letters. They're in the document. Okay, well, I, I, don't, I don't have, have them. them. And they're not on not this on agenda. agenda. We'll take, we'll them, take up them up on, on that. that. The next, the next meeting, meeting, two weeks. No, no, they're in this agenda. I mean, they're in the document. Krista put them in the document. I saw them this morning. I looked at them. All right, let me go. Uh, do you have any other? I don't have any other. Uh, I emailed. Uh, That's all I saw. All right, let me go. Uh, uh, give me a minute. Uh, do, you, do you have your letters? Can you read them? Read them. Read them but, uh, Go ahead, read them. First one is uh, well, they're both to the board of selectmen. They ran for the board of selectmen. Um, in light of recent actions undertaken by the Brantford Housing Authority, the continued concerns of citizens regarding possible fraud, corruption, and embezzlement in the management of the Parkside Village complex. And the refusal of the current administration to investigate these concerns appropriately, the Board of Selectmen is asked to immediately initiate a full and independent forensic audit into this matter. Because of the nature of these circumstances and the other questions surrounding them, it is, I'm sorry, it is emphasized that a full forensic audit, not a routine financial audit, must be performed. So that's the letter, and I think you've seen it before. It's not the first time I've sent it out. I sent it to the RTM. And the reason I sent it is this. You got serious problems going on with that authority now. I went to one meeting, and I've, I've been, I don't know how many meetings I've been to in the last dozen years in town, but that's the rudest, most unaccountable, most non-transparent body that I've ever been in front of. They don't let anybody talk. Citizens down there have been concerned for years, years and years, that lots of money is coming into that place and they don't know where it's being spent. And, you know, it's just, you've got to do something. And they brought to you, I don't know when exactly, a couple of years ago, this list of, here it is, they gave it to me just to, for reference of their concerns and charges and whatever, and you ignored it like you do most things. And I think it's important that the Board of Selectmen and the RP initiate a forensic audit down there and see what the heck is going on because citizens you know i don't know myself but citizens are very concerned you've got some 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 very very big problem and if you don't well then we know so i asked the board of selectmen to do this on behalf of the town Okay, okay, the Board of Selectmen did uh, receive a petition a number of years ago. That's what I believe you're referring to. And there was a number of uh, uh, charges, charges brought into that, one being the uh, uh, having a financial audit done, which we no. did, just which we we did do. Now you're asking, this is for, you know, rather than reviewing the audit, you want to go through a forensic audit. Of all the, of, Absolutely. And I would... And, and I would just, would just uh, uh, um, would have to first see the our authority as the town to enter into a forensic authority uh, audit, as well as the fact that um, appropriation. So the board will discuss it. We can discuss it, uh, um, or if somebody has that. But at this time, um, we received your letter. I'll take it under advisement. Thank you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Could somebody keeps muting me. All right. Yeah. I, I just, just for the record, I will mute we, under, under Zoom. Others, others can't, can't hear when two people are talking. So yes, yes you'll be recognized. You have an opportunity to speak, and then, and then 
these people will be muted so others have the opportunity to hear. That's fine. Okay, then we'll leave this one where it is. The next one is, uh, please be advised, dear Board of Selectmen, please be advised that a number of Brantford boards and commissions are utilizing Zoom technology to censor citizen comments and in some cases even remove citizens from online town meetings. These include the Planning and Zoning Commission, the Economic Development Commission, the Clean Energy Commission, and the board, I'm sorry, the Brantford Housing Authority, although other town bodies may also be engaging in such practices. In adherence to the governor's executive order 7B and the provisions of the First Amendment of the United States Constitution, it is asked that the Board of Selectmen issue a policy and town-wide order that prohibits citizens from being muted by means by any means at a town meeting. What's going on is wrong. You cannot mute citizens, okay? If you, can't, if you mute somebody because you can't hear two people, that's one thing. But even if I was at a meeting and I wanted to protest something that's going on, I should not have to worry about being muted. That's wrong. I mean, part of what made this country what it is is certainly being able to speak, but secondly, being able to protest. And the, these commissions use this as some sort of a device to, to silence people. It's absolutely wrong. You wouldn't silence me at a, at, a, at a live meeting or anybody else. Why would you silence people just because you have the technology to do it? I think you need to address this. And nobody can be muted unless, you know, with a, you know without good reason. Okay. Okay, well... I don't know uh, any specific examples you're referring to, but in terms of uh, running an orderly meeting, uh, the chair or moderator of the meeting uh, needs to have the ability, as I said, with Zoom in particular, when multiple people are speaking, it, uh, others can't hear. So where I agree, um, you know, people have the right to speak. Uh, there is uh, many means there's an appropriate time to speak when time is given to speak. There's a, There's a difference between, between uh, you know, speaking, speaking at a meeting, protesting at a meeting, or um, from, you know, being a disrupting so business can no longer be conducted. So, as you as stated, Bad, there's many meetings that have different rules in terms of when public comment is accepted. See, I resent you using mute right now. I think it's wrong. I mean, if I want to interrupt you, I have the right to interrupt you. It may be rude. You know, it may be a lot of things, but I would like to submit, and I mean this with all due respect, if it wasn't for citizens interrupting officials in the past, I don't think you'd be sitting where you are. Because we had a ridiculously abusive regime in there that wouldn't let people say anything. It's a good thing that we protest. So I think you need to leave these buttons completely alone and let people speak. If it becomes disruptive, it's to the point where you get nothing done, okay, well, maybe then. But it never gets to that point. Sitting there with you buttons is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. And it's un-American. This is not North Korea, for crying out loud. Will you do something about this, please? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll look into it. it. I don't, I don't, again. I'll see you at the next meeting. Can I see the slides, please? Uh, hang on one second. Can you, Can you see, see him, him now? now? Looking. Yes, thank you. Is it on? Yes. Yeah, no, that's good. Thank you. Uh, All right. I'm just going to ask that you move from one to the other as I go through them. This should be pretty quick. I just want to put these. Uh, yeah, yeah th these were um, redundant. So anyone who wants to see them can view last week's, last month's meeting, or they are attached to the Dropbox. But yeah, if we can go through them. Just quickly. Uh, they're redundant in some respects. They're not in redundant. Okay, in okay go ahead. Okay, I would like to ask the board of select, not just the first selectman, but selectman Higgins and selectman Dunbar to look into this matter before it gets to the RTM next month. I think it's wrong that the first selectman is unilaterally 
and somewhat arbitrarily giving away the 70 acre Tabor property for reasons that I can't still figure out without RTM approval. And I think that quite frankly, this has got to be looked at thoroughly, extremely thoroughly. It's an enormously valuable asset to the town. You know, and to give it away for even something like the Shoreline Greenway Trail without RTM approval, for a labyrinth, for tree farms, for solar panels that I think are coming in the future. You can't do that. You do not have the authority to do that. Here's one example. You know, this is what was proposed in the DeRoss administration. You can see Public Works, which got shot down, but it has real possibilities for ball feet and recreation facilities. Well, why don't we do that instead of you giving it away to the far left environmentalists to do whatever they want to do with it? I mean, I, I know why you're doing it. No secret. You know, you're trying to increase your whatever it is, political popularity, but they have no right to this feat before it goes before the public. So this is one possibility. The other possibility, you know, there's a number of them. Can I see the next slide, please? This is from J.C. Wyatt. She asked for a year. What about a public golf course? Everybody else seems to have one along the shoreline. Why don't we at least look at it? You know, and just so this isn't pie in the sky, I mean, I want you to know that when I was you know, involved in certain things several years ago, I asked the town attorney's father, Bill Anaskovich Sr., who designs golf courses. I said, you know, could you do something like that down on Tabor? And he said, yes, you could. You, yes, you could. So in any event, I think this needs to be looked at, and I would ask the Board of Selectmen as a whole to push this forward so that at least we go to public hearings for some sort of master plan before the board before the first selectman gives it all away and we can't get it back. So can I have the other selectman please comment on that? It's the only comment I can put at this time is I can look into it and see what the validity of it is and, and what's there, right? At this point in time, I don't have that much information to do it, but I have what you've given us and certainly can look at it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, you couldn't hear me. No, hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm muted. I don't know what you're doing. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess I guess was, I was muted. muted. Um, it's certainly, it's certainly something, something that I can, that look, I can at. look at. I mean, I don't, I mean, have, I don't all have all the facts. facts. I, I certainly have um, I don't. Good. Huh? You're getting your ear effect going. I'll, I'll, I'll try not, try to, not echo. to echo. Um, um, certainly, certainly, it's something, it's something to, be to be looked at, at as, 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 a as a board. As a board. As, as, so as one member, I can certainly look at it and get facts. But I don't think these things, in all honesty, are all going to be done before the um, RTM meeting. There's a, there's a list of things here that need to be looked at. And I'm sure they're going to be looking at many things. But certainly, I can put it on the radar. That's all. That's all I'm, that's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Because I don't see the, the thing. Okay. All right. That's one. Can we go to the next slide, please? There's three sets of slides. The one with the um, Atlantic Wharf in the front. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll go through these pretty quickly. Mr. Lesson, may I say something? Yeah. Yeah. Is it on display? Because it looks different. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, it should, should be off. Yeah. Got another now. Okay, can you see that? All right, you can see, you can see it. <laughs> All right, again, you know, yeah. 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 Quickly, but I would just like to ask that the East Shore Health Department bring forth whatever testing was done on those piles. Because I haven't seen it. I sent letters before. I know other people have sent letters. We've never seen any testing done on those piles. They've done testing elsewhere. But we've never seen testing on that pile. So if the board of selectmen can ensure that we can see those tests, maybe we'll put certain things 
the rest, but I haven't seen them yet. So that's another thing I'd like to do. Next slide, please. You know, again, we've gone over this, but it needs going over some more. This is an absolute pound disgrace, what went on down there, and it continues to be. And I would appreciate it if the Board of Selectmen would look into this also. It's coming up before the RTM. But what this town did, and I blame the town as much as I do the land trust, to the people down there, perhaps most importantly or most, you know, uh, significantly, Jay Medlin and his family, is just, it's just wrong. It's just deplorable what you did. Next slide, please. And it was all to build this catwalk, which the land trust had to have. It's shoddy construction at best. You can see it on the left, and on the right, you see an aerial view of it, and they had to take out this berm to do it. But they never asked anybody. They just did it. They don't have permits for the catwalk. The land trust just did this. And they say, well, we got the Army Corps of Engineers, like like, like the fish you did. You know, you lie to them to get whatever permission they might have given. Can I go back, please? Go ahead, keep going. Next one, please. Go back. These are the three individuals that are responsible, and they should be held accountable and brought up before you know the the uh, the RTM and explain themselves. Why did you do what you did? Why did you do what you did to Jay Medler? I'd like to know, and a lot of people would like to know. They should minimal fix the burn. Back, please. Back, please. Yes. Can we go back to them? Excuse me for interrupting, uh, Mr. Cook. I just you wanted know, we've to... We've only been doing Zoom for six you know, months. You think we would know what we're doing by now? Yeah, Luckily, Luckman Huggins is trying to make a comment. Can you even hear me? Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. I guess not. I'm trying to say we've gone over this. Yeah. Let's go to the next. Right. We appreciate that he brought it to our attention, but I don't want to read this whole thing again. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Hold on. Hold on. We've been doing Zoom for six months. Yeah. yeah. This, this is as good as we can do. Yeah. All, right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, Excuse me for interrupting, Mr. Cook. We, you have presented this uh, particular packet about the berm and Parkside and uh, embezzlement and Diana Ross and Costco. We've reviewed this. We've listened to you a number of times about this, and I would just respectfully request that you uh, move along. You have one more packet that we haven't seen, and it, it, it doesn't uh, bode well to just keep repeating and repeating and going over it we are trying our best uh, we will listen to what you have to say but to say it every, at every meeting it, it, it doesn't help uh, the situation so if you could just go to the next one the next packet which it doesn't have any identification but uh, the animal shelter one I would appreciate that very much thank you Right, you got it off. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't know why I can't. Go ahead. Go ahead, Wayne. I'm mute. All right. Can you hear me now? Yes. You can hear me now? Yes. All right. You know, with all due respect to this uh, third selectman, 
you know, if, 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 if we got answers to the things that we were bringing up, we wouldn't have to bring them up over and over again. But you don't provide any answer. I mean, you know, where's the investigation? What are you doing to help Jay Medlin? What are you doing about Atlantic War Piles? What are you doing about any of that stuff? I mean, you can sit there and chastise me all day long, respectfully, but the truth of the matter is you don't provide any answer. So what am I supposed to do? Forget it? Say, just, uh, just go away? I mean, that's being unrealistic. You don't think I'm going to go away on these issues. These are very important issues. You know, you, you bring forth the, the investigation, third selectman Higgins, you know, you've been asking for for months, and that issue disappears. But I haven't seen it. Have you? Anybody see it? You broke up. But go ahead. The point is that, you know, First of all, this is ridiculous that we're doing Zoom like this. It's all over the place. We've been doing it for six months. This is the best we can do. And secondly, again, I don't know what you heard, but for the third selectman to chastise me, because quite frankly, she doesn't like to see things over and over, well, just answer the question. Just produce the investigation that we've been asking for. Where's that? You produce that, I got nothing more to say. But no, you haven't, you haven't even come close to producing it. So I don't know what that's all about. I will just say, with all your, we, we do listen, we take, uh, and we have reviewed this multiple times, and quite honestly, I believe that there's been an answer provided on every matter you brought forward. Perhaps it's not the answer you're looking for, but the board has provided answers. And regarding the uh, issue with the investigation, as we conclude the last meeting, I believe it was the last meeting, we decided or two meetings ago, um, having uh, uh, Attorney Gerard present to the full board in executive session. I did hear back, and he just asked if we could do it after Labor Day, but we didn't have it prior to this meeting. Right. Right. Well, that's, that's more than I knew before this meeting. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't say it tonight. So the fact of the matter is, and I like to know where that investigation is, and I think it's, you know, I think, quite frankly, the, the two selectmen, other than you, can see it without his permission. I mean, they are selectmen yeah. of this town. But all right, we'll put that one where it is, and the other ones can wait. And uh, okay, fine. Now the next one is the animal show, and I think wanted to bring that up because, by some unknown reason, the town clerk Lisa Arkin could not somehow put these out there for the, uh, the board of finance the other night. That we don't have the capability of doing slides. Well, that was new to me. The absolute capability of doing slides for the last six months. But in any event. What I'd like to do is bring the animal shelter up for one reason in particular. But first of all, I'd like to put it in the context of other projects in this town that I've had a problem with and not a lot of people have. Next slide, please. Now, this is no you know, mystery to anybody. It's the new middle school. And I guess my concern is, and I know it's kind of like saying something after the cart, you know, to the horses out of the, the barn, but nevertheless, people had the concern back then why we spent $90 million on a new middle school, you know, when quite frankly, the enrollment is a third of what the old school would hold. I know we need to make changes, but also I think most importantly, you know, why we put so much into a middle school and we put nothing, nothing as far as I can tell into the high school. I mean, by shoreline standards, our high school is, you know, physically at least, or, you know, uh, I would say close to an embarrassment. Nothing like Guilford, nothing like East Haven, nothing like really Madison, nothing like Clinton. You know, I don't know all of them, but, you know, we got a high school that, quite frankly, we just kind of phoned in. So why don't we do something for the high school? I mean, I know teachers up there when our daughter was in school, and they said, you know, quite frankly, a few of them called it a dump. To be really honest with you, I'm not making that up. So why don't we do something for the high school? You know, I mean, if we can put $90 million into the middle school, we can put you know, five, 10 million into the high school, make it look nicer. So I would ask the board of selectmen to look into that. The other thing is, next slide, please. And again, I've been wanting to say this publicly for a while. I think the way the community house was done was extremely poorly planned, extremely poorly planned. They say, oh, it looks nice. Well, for $13 million, it better look nice. But the fact of the matter is, as you can see from this drawing, the footprint of that building changed very, very little. And the reality is, next slide, please. This is what we got for $13 million in terms of the expansion of the building. That's what we got. That for $13 million. And I know there's more to it, but my point is that if you looked at it closely and you looked at the other sites available in town, Tabor, Brushy Plain, 
Orchard House, and perhaps even the YMCA, you could have had a much better facility in addition to the uh, renovation of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the community house. I talked to Alex Peluzzi, you know, our daughter was down there playing basketball. I said, you know, this was many, many years ago. I said, you know, you need more court. He goes, yeah, that's our number one, that's our number one priority, get a second gymnasium. Well, I don't see it. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't see it. So, you know, and again, you promised a second meeting to the senior and all of us. You promised a second meeting to discuss the location and you never had it. Why? Because you had your mind made up. It was going to go in the center. It was going to be a combined facility. So let's just call it what it is. And unfortunately, that's the way that this administration does a lot of things. And then finally, on the animal shelter, we talked about this last night. I mean, Monday night, I couldn't show it because the slides weren't there. But there's about six, seven acres of available land, give or take, on that transfer station site. Now, it was always earmarked for at least consideration of public work. J.C. Wyatt put out a plan. I thought we'll see it in a minute. Now, you said the other night for selecting, well, it was never thought of for up there. That's not true. Public works was always thought of as a possibility for that transfer station site. And you said, well, and I listened to you to your comments. Well, you know, it's not really maximized in terms of positioning. Well, maybe it's not, but maybe it should be. And I, what I did the other night was I kind of raised a flag about these walking trails that you're going to go behind the animal shelter facility, which is a nice facility. I got no problem with what they're doing. But, you know, don't be giving away, you know, the whole place so a bunch of dogs can walk around. And I think that needs to be looked at. People say, well, it's only two acres. Well, two acres is still a lot for a bunch of dogs to walk around. You know, so again, I would be very careful of that. And again, the next thing you see is this is J.C. Wyatt's rendition of what public works would look at. Now, you couldn't do it now because you lost the building in the front to, uh, to uh, you know, a, 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 a commercial outfit. But this is what, you know, she had planned. So you can't say, well, there was no plans up there because there were plans up there. All right, so all that said, and I appreciate you listening after we get through this, but I would appreciate it if you would look at those things. Tabor, Atlantic Wharf, you know, Jay Medlin's farm, the investigation, which I, I hear you, it's coming. And, um, and also keep an eye on the RTM because all of these me all of these items are coming up in front of the RTM. And I think, I think it's extremely important that the board of selectmen, you know, take a, a very, very active role in all of these things. And I'd like to hear what you have to say now. I really would. I mean, do you think that all of these things I brought up are groundless? Or do you think that there's some concern on all of them? And if there's not, where isn't their concern? Okay. Yes, yeah, so I will uh, bring up uh, a lot of the, what you have said, in particular with these projects that will address uh, um, a lot of the things that you brought up were addressed throughout the process for each of those projects. Uh, if anyone who had participated, attended a meeting, or even after the projects had asked those questions, uh, uh, many of those have been addressed, uh, particularly with the schools. Um, a lot of that was uh, addressed through the Board of Education. And then when we began the project, uh, things that you brought up in terms of size, that was all part of the project. Community house, um, and even with the animal shelter, uh, there's some some information that's uh, stated that really doesn't really reflect the two acres was inclusive of, as I stated the other night, the um, the existing footprint of the building. Uh, when I said, uh, you know, a plan for public works has never been, uh, you know, considered or taught, I said from this administration, or I'm not aware of a previous administration uh, seriously considering a plan. And as uh, noted tonight, uh, you said, um, you know, with the sale of the building, that's now a commercial or had been a commercial and now has been renovated, um, it probably would not be feasible. So, but the one thing I do want to uh, acknowledge and really thank you, really, you know, with the community center project, the uh, school project, uh, Shoreline Greenway Trail, the solar array, um, you know, all these that, one thing I'm particularly proud of uh, is the vast uh, projects that this administration has been able to complete 
But uh, before, you know, taking sole credit of that, I really need to thank um, all the volunteers that serve on the various boards and commissions, the uh, public that came out and supported uh, these projects and uh, to make it happen, because I think we've got a lot of great things going on. Uh, we've completed a lot of great projects, and I look forward to continuing moving forward and getting a lot of great things done in this town. So thank you for acknowledging those. Uh, with that, does anyone else have any uh, comments? Oh, I am really sorry, Ray. Go ahead, Ray. Yeah. Point on, you know, I can't, uh, I can't answer for a lot of the things that took place prior to my arrival on the board. And I'm so sure Selectman like Higgins, Higgins also. also cannot. However, we will, uh, I'm sure, use due diligence in paying attention to what's taking on, have our input for anything in the future, and I'll be paying attention to everything that takes place at the RTM. I mean, they're looking into each and every one of these matters. Uh, they certainly have more resources than we do, so uh, I think it will get a thorough look at, and then hopefully there'll be conclusions. One second. Wayne's Hang on one second. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, concur with, with uh, the, the remarks, the remarks and, comments and comments of, of uh, uh, Selectman Dunbar. Dunbar. Absolutely, Absolutely, we'll look we'll into, into it. it. We're, we're new to the board, board, but we do look forward to uh, paying, paying attention, attention to the, the RTM, RTM and, and see what see direction they head us in and what they find, the resources they have are greater than ours. So we'll pay attention. That's our promise. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments from the public? Any other business? All right. Motion and to adjourn. We got a motion to adjourn. Yeah. A second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion is adjourned. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you. This program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at BrantfordTV.org.